Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us ask God's forgiveness for our many sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation, I send him, and against a people under my wrath, I order him to seize plunder, carry off loot, 
and tread them down like the mad of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, by my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of peoples, their treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant, I have put down the enthroned. My hand has seized, like a nest, the riches of nations. As one takes eggs left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing, or opened a mouth, or chirped. Will the axe boast against him who hews with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff, him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory, there will be kindling like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. The Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, The Lord sees not. The God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise, he who teaches men knowledge? The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Please stand. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son 
wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, I saw yesterday an observation on social media that in our society and in our times, knowledge seems to be despised while ignorance seems to be praised. Sa panahon daw natin ngayon, ang kaalaman ay kinamumuhian samantalang ang pinupuri at pinararangalan pa ay ang kamangmangan. And I am afraid that the words of Jesus in our gospel today might be taken to justify this observation, this current situation. In our gospel, Jesus praised the Father for hiding the mysteries of the kingdom from the wise and the learned and revealing them to the childlike. Thus, Jesus praise ignorance? Does Jesus despise knowledge? Sinasabi din ba ni Jesus na mas mabuti pa yung mga walang alam kaysa dun sa mga may kaalaman? My dear brothers and sisters, the words of Jesus in our gospel today is not just about ignorance and knowledge. It is about the attitude that we bring to ignorance and to knowledge. Jesus' words in our gospel today warns us against pride when it comes to knowledge but also pride when it comes to ignorance. Knowledge has the tendency to make us proud. That is a danger. Kapag maraming alam, may tukso na maging mayabang. At hindi lamang yung pagkakaroon ng maraming alam. Minsan, yung alam mo na mali ay maaari ding maging kayabangan. Because it takes a lot of humility to admit that what one knows is wrong. Minsan may alam tayo Pero yung alam natin, mali. Pero ayaw nating aminin na yung alam natin ay mali. Yan din ay kayabangan. But if there is pride in knowledge, there could also be pride in ignorance. Especially the ignorance that closes us from learning. Kapag yung ating alam ay kulang at ayaw nating matuto, yan din ay kayabangan. That is why the invitation of Jesus for us today is humility. We have to be humble. Whether we are knowledgeable in many things or whether we are ignorant in some things, what is important is to remain humble and the kind of humility that Jesus invites us today is the humility of being open to learning. Bukas na matuto. Marami ka mang alam o konti ang iyong alam, mahalaga ang kapakumbabaan sa pagiging bukas 
na palaging maturuan at matuto. In our first reading today, God reprimands the impious and proud nations. They said, By my own power I have done it. By my wisdom, for I am shrewd. Nagmamalaki ang mga bansa. Nagiging mayabang. But God asks, Will the axe boast against him who hews it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? Yung bang palakol magmamalaki sa kamay na may hawak sa kanya? Yung bang lagari pa ang magdidikta sa kanya na gumagamit nito? God calls the nations to humility. Avoid arrogance and pride, for this will not lead us anywhere. Let us be humble in the sight of God. My dear brothers and sisters, life is a learning process. And learning is a lifelong process. Learning never stops. Kahit na marami tayong napag-aralan, kahit na mataas ang ating naabot, kahit madami pa tayong degrees, hindi natatapos ang pagkatuto. Kahit matanda na tayo, hindi natatapos ang pagkatuto. Let us allow ourselves to be humble in knowledge Let us admit that we do not know everything, that there are st still things that we could learn. And in ignorance, let us also be humble by being open to being taught by others and by God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us allow God to teach us today and every day. Please stand. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for small and simple people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may give preferential option for the poor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may listen to the needs and cries of the humblest citizens, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That children may get to know God by our teachings and examples, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We pray for people who need our prayers. And we pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord Jesus Christ, make us wise with your wisdom and help us follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take Let away the sins the of the world. Lord, Have mercy on Jesus. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly Wednesday evening Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock on our Facebook page. Our host for tonight is the Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish, or what is more uh, popularly known as Barasuain Church in Bulacan. This is in preparation for the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, which we will celebrate on Saturday, July 16. And so once again, we invite you to gather as a family and as a community and together implore the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.